Hey everybody, MTG Magpie, and I am joined here by... Uh, MTG Raven, hi! It's kind of a hand. Yeah, that'll do. And we're doing Tim Spiral. For Tim. I kind of promised myself I wasn't going to buy Time Spiral, and then I bought Time Spiral. So here's a video! We didn't know if we were coming for this one or not, but... Um, here we are. Apparently, we are. We weren't prepared again. <laughs> Let me in! Looking for sharp objects. Let me in. Uh, a pen. A pen I'm pen. in. You got it? You got it? I got it. I've only slightly crumpled the box. It's okay. Don't, think... don't damage that really nice art that isn't on the card, huh? I don't know why you're so big mad about that. It's fine. It's nice art. I just want to see it on a card. He's so big mad about it. Oh, All right. Yeah. Look at this lovely puke green. <laughs> Uh, box. It's kind of like you in yellow to me, but I guess puke green also works. It's like baby puke. Yeah. Attractive, right? That's what you want. I didn't quite have a nail colour to go with it, but this is this is like the best I could do. It's not far off. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what we gon' get. Hopefully lots of nice time shifted cards. Why is it adjusted the orientation again? I don't know. I'm just gonna Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're in the right orientation, so I'll have to fix that footage again. <laughs> Just cut it in. Technical difficulties. I didn't see anything in this pack, so that's fine. I don't have a bin! Just, just floor. The floor is the bin. <laughs> no, I need a bin. All right, we'll just, we'll just take a look at a couple of these while we, we go through. Um, okay. Now, first on common here is the mystical teachings, premature burial, silversmith. I, I, I'm i really messed up in a set that's got slivers in because I always read it as silver, but that is actually silver. No, oh, it's not. It's sliver. Slither, slither I'm an idiot. I hate it. Hey, look, it's Mangara. That's cool. With his nice, shiny new art. That's pretty cool. And a feather. Immediately in there with a feather. They do have a feather deck, but I don't know how I feel about this border on feather in particular. Um, so we'll have to see. I don't know. And a... Oh, I suppose I should put these separately. I mean, she's she's a good time shifty. We'll put her up there. A Sting Scourger. Foil. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's not too bendy yet. Yeah. Give it time. And this really cool bat token that's amazing. And I like it. Big like. That's not bad. Yeah, I think you can do a drink counter for the number of times I'll pronounce Slither as silver. It's just something I, I can't undo. <laughs> it's just a thing. They're all silver to me. Uh, and I, I, I can't undo this in my head. Let's see if we can get a silver legion. Yeah. Brine Elemental. Rebuff the Wicked. Oh, time spiral, why you do this? Muraganda petroglyphs? Correct. Cool, look at me go. Look at me <laughs> go. Uh, and a Stonehorn Dignitary. That's a really cool one. Definitely needed a copy of this. Going to be good in um, the Urian deck. Oh yeah, you're going to flick it's it It's going to be time. fun, right? It's going to be good. It's not going to be fun for someone. You. <laughs> no fun for you. And a cloud sprite. I love the um the old border. Ooh, that just kind of fell open. It's been searched. That's weird. That really did just kind of fall open. Just kind of... It's the one with the foil thought season. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I haven't been that lucky in a while. I think Double Masters was our last, like, sweet Jesus opening. Uh, Outrider Encore. Salt crusted step or steep or step up a step up a what's whatever's uh shivan meteor the boom bust i i hate this card definitely not like our box i know yeah it's not a good sign is it when you're talking about a box and you get that and you're just like ah bother Ooh, beast within yeah love that art Looks good with that frame. It does. Do yeah. like that a lot. The other art wouldn't have looked as good. And a sampling. 
Okay, let's assess the glue stitch. I mean, they are they are a little uh, wavy actually, but uh, this box was sealed. Unless you know, I didn't sort the the uh, the intro out, in which case it wasn't sealed, and this is all a fix. Ooh, manatite. But then you might be wondering why my poles are so crap. If I did fix this, eh? Uh, Rift Wing Cloudscape, Keen Sense, Cross and Grip. That's good. Uh, slaughter Pact. All right, we're, we're kind of going for any other colour than this one. No, no, we wouldn't want the red one either. <laughs> I suppose not the red one either, but you know the other ones would be great. But Slaughter Pact's pretty good. You you can't dislike it as a card. It's okay. It's better than Pact of the Titan. That's all we can ask. For. Master of the Pearl Trident. That's cool. Yes. That looks like it was made for this frame, really, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. That's really neat looking. And a foil poultice slither. Are you proud of me? Yeah. I'm proud of me. Well done. It just looks like silver to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain is a little bit backwards sometimes. Explains a lot, eh? Oh my god, just look at this. I've got gapey packs. They uh, want to be open. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that and not that um, <laughs> someone's been doing a fixin', eh? I don't think they have. I think, you know, nothing surprises me anymore when it comes to wizards. They can't even glue the packs up anymore. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> Gotta pay extra for that. <laughs> Salt Field Recluse. Fire more Carvey. Clockwork Hydra. A Chroma's Memorial for our first mythic. That's a pretty cool mythic. Uh, I definitely want to shove this in my squirrel deck so that I have big, chonky, scary squirrels that I'm excited about. And an Eternal Witness. That is a nice one in this frame for sure. Yeah, the old art wouldn't have worked as well. Nah, one. so we're getting some good, good framers here. Pretty happy with them so far as a commander player. But I think a lot of... It's kind of worrying, but also not because the good cards are still there, I think. If I don't get a foil old frame, then I will call shenanigans. Um, but you know, you know, products just aren't what they used to be, I guess. Uh, Stronghold Rats. Thick-skinned Goblin. Dread Return and Flagstones of Trocair, uh, the card that was worth nothing for the longest time and is now worth, you know, everything. So they're very weird when you find these cards. You kind of wish you bought them before and then now you don't want to buy them. But, uh, eh, eh. I mean, I, I could maybe just shove this in a commander deck as well, just for the lols. Uh, Mystic Confluence in the old frame. That's nice. Kind of hope for one of these in foil at some point because the blue foils are perfection. But um, that's a good pull. I've been needing another one of these for a commander deck, so that's happy days. And a Benlish Cavalry foil. It's a nice looking foil, that. Good stuff. And a kobold. I love the kobold tokens. Oh, sorry. Did you want to look at it yeah. for a bit longer then? Yeah, so they're really neat. They look old. They do. They look they like look... they should. That's what they should look like. Basically. Oh. oh, it looks like it's, it's just like slightly misaligned when they were gluing them. If that makes sense, because there's like this. I'm assuming these are supposed to be pressed up against each other, um, and they're just ever so slightly off. Production issues at Wizards? No, absolutely not. What are you talking about? Next, you'll tell me the foils band. That's a feature. <laughs> Uh, Maya Boa. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. If, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just awful. It's just awful. Wipe away. That's right. Wipe, wipe it away. Just get rid of it. And a, a Drownu Lich Lord. Not a card I needed, but, you know, cool. Not a card anyone needed. <laughs> oh, well. With a hollow one. Uh... Raven's a big fan of the, the, the artifact border. I'm not particularly. It's okay on that one. And a goblin. I don't particularly like hollow one, so... He doesn't deserve that border. Oh, dear. Ooh, Terramorphic Expanse. 
Prodigal Pyromancer. Riftmarked Knight. Urza's Factory. I feel like I see this card everywhere these days now. <laughs> and Magus of the Future. He's futuring. He is. I guess that makes sense in a, a time spiral slot. <laughs> that uh, he's hanging around. And a Thrag Tusk. He is. Uh, don't let your dreams be memes. Always bring two spears. And an assembly worker. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of chill so far out here. It's a chill wavy box opening. I got flappy packs. <laughs> don't know what that says. I'm getting old. <laughs> Ooh. Storm Cloud Gin. We'll have to take the video down. That's NSFW. Lost Auromancers. Utopia Mycon. That was a thing. It is a thing. There we go. Yeah. Oh. oh. We wanted the reverse of this box. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a feels bad. That's a, that's a Hopefully F. the shifted at the back will make up for it. That's an F in chat, please. No. Uh, it's, it's an F in chat, please. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Time Spiral. I knew it'd do this. That's why I didn't want to buy it. I want, like, Pact of Negation and Damnation. And then I'm happy. But I'm not going to see either of them. Because that's what happens. Like a moron. I Oh, there you go. Like a moron, I buy these boxes. And then go, oh, I didn't get what I need. And then never buy what I need either. I'm always sat next to you going, buy the singles. No, you weren't. Trump the Domains. June Rider Outlaw. Paradise Plume. That's a pretty bird card. If High Arcanist, again, didn't ask for you, but I guess you make sense. And Consuming Aberration. Damn. That dude be scary. Seems seems reasonable, though. And a Kobold. He doesn't make the play map, though. No, because I, I didn't ask for him. Oh, okay. Only special stuff makes the play map. <laughs> oh, look. Uh, Banned. Poor Harambe. <laughs> Hasn't he suffered enough? Apparently so. And there's the Pongify to go with him. Nice. It's a sliver. And a storm entity. And... Nether Traitor. It's a cool card. That is a cool card. I think that's pretty cool. I think that I could find a home for this in like a mutate deck, but I'd be really hurt by the double black. Mm. But you could. You could genuinely find a home for that in one of those decks. Ooh, Path to Exile. Lovely. I mean, I, I do prefer um, some of the other, the arts, but this one is good. It's so pretty. It is. Looks good in this frame. Yes. Oh. Ooh, and our foil. From this box is a Baral Chief of Compliance. That's nice. That's nice, and it's also not nice because now immediately I'm like, well, I have to build a Baral deck now. <laughs> I just have to. That's a thing I have to do, having pulled this foil Baral. I mean, you, you can't be mad if you get a foil uh, commander out of one of these, I don't think, because they're just instantly so fleshy. I do love the blue ones as well. I'm a sucker for the old foiling in blue. Ooh, he's a spendy boy. He's not the spendiest boy, but he's a spendy boy. Kind of happy about that because there's no way I'd have bought a Baral. So the box has given me something, I guess. I guess it's okay. <laughs> Time spiral, I guess. At least we're not one of those cursed boxes that doesn't have any. Uh, Basalt Gargoyle. Shape a Parasite. Dreadship Reef. Greater Gargadon. Suspend 10. Jesus Christ. It's a fun card in modern. <laughs> uh, it's useless to me, though. Ooh, Ooh it's the Ponder. All right, I can put that in my Baral deck. Well, you know, you could sell it because it's worth more than everything. <laughs> Only in foil. Mm, that one's still... It's still a bit pricey, yes, but I could just put it in the Baral deck. <laughs> you know? And a bat. We'll just take a shortcut here because technical issues are crap at the moment so uh oh we're the right way up yes all right let's do it it's time for another 12 packs it's time <laughs> spiral 
All right, thanks for that. That's a strong opener to the video. <laughs> Let's hope the pack makes up. Ooh, uh, search for tomorrow. I do like that. I do like it when there's a couple of commons you're looking for in a in a set. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. Uh, Scrub Ranger. Griffin Guide. Well, there you go. Oh, so, nice. Street Wraith. That that's the first one we've come across, so that's good. Ooh, Vesuva. That's rad. It's a good mythic. That is a really good pull, because I'm never buying a Vesuva ever. All right, and what's behind it? A nature's claim. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I kind of think I should sleeve these, but it's fine. Nature's claim. Good. Oh, and a foil assassinate. That's less nice. That's awful. Oh, those have got foily eyes and foil. I hate foily eyes and foily teeth on black cards. They're just, they just, they creep me out. I'm sorry. They do. They really do. Oh, there's just a dead pile over there of wrappers. Could have cleaned that up in the break, but you know. There up. was no break. It was a seamless moment where I didn't have a breakdown about how bad my box was going or whatever. Uh, sudden shock. Whip spine rake. It's a necrotic slither. 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 <laughs> slither. <gasps> Summoners packed. All right. Can we get? Can we have a full set, please? Yeah, let's have the full set. Why I mean, not? this this is good for a uh, Raven. He yeah. needs this for his Gitrog deck. Gitrog CDH deck. This would be so, hard. That's really good. That's a good. That's a good pull because I charged him for some of the box, and he's been like, "Me, I don't want any of it." <laughs> yeah, there's so. nothing in this for me. Exquisite firecraft. This one's just a bit of a. I don't know who needed this. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't even really work. I don't like it in that old frame. Look, they can all be winners. No. There's got to be some you make fun of, right? I mean, I'm in the oddity in that all the Enchantress stuff I'm a big fan of. Because uh, I have too many ban Enchantress decks. They're all like, I want it. Uh e oh no. I was gonna pronounce that and then I then I my brain kicked off and Jailer. It's like, yeah. It's a jailer, moving on. <laughs> Pendlehaven Elder, Mycologist. Ooh. That's a good card. Extrapate? Yeah, sure, why not? Extra I don't actually know how to say this one, but it has split second, which means it's okay. Yeah. That's Very good bad. in modern mill decks. That's not bad. We have a Containment Priest for the tenth version of this. In what format would you like it in? I still kind of like the um, Core 21 full art. I don't know why. I just really like that one. And I'm always overjoyed I can pick it up for like 50p or 30p. <laughs> I get so excited about that. It's worth nothing, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Ooh, Lucio Core. You and a couple of those from Mutate deck a long time ago. Oh boy, that pile's getting a little wiggly. Joda's Avenger. Celestial Crusader. Primal Force Mage. Kerkeep. Ooh. That's not bad. I foresee good things in the land of Kobolds with the D D set coming up. I can only That's hope true. anyway. Uh, sad robot. I nearly said the actual thing. No, that would be <laughs> awful. This is sad robot. I really don't like this art, though. It's not my <laughs> preference, so I won't be keeping that. But you know. Oh. I like that Fibberfoot's peeking out, though, in that one. On, on the back. Look, he was peeking out. Oh, right, through the door, so, yeah. Yeah, you Got opened you. it up and there's just Fibblefoot. Ooh, Edge of Autumn. Gotta love an Edge of Autumn. Uh, Haze of Rage. Skittering Monstrosity. Cautery Slither. Slither. Cutlery, cutlery Silver. Cutlery Silver. That's you know what? what? That one's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Cutlery Silver. Venser. Shaper Savant. Ah! Uh! I don't mind Venser actually. That's not bad. Mm. Probably jam him in uh, a starter blue deck for sure. That's that's not the worst. Ooh, Corsair of Crufix for my Bant Enchantress decks. I don't know how I feel about this one. I do miss the enchantment frame on it, but I love Corsair, so so good. Yeah. So good. 
Ooh. A foil Talaria West, which is kind of a new and kind of an oops, because this is a very common foil. It's, mm. it's in the from the vault. Yeah, but with awful foiling. With awful foiling. Who knows if this foiling is any better? This could be Pringle foiling. But the actual card foiling is much nicer. It looks fine. I'm not a big fan. I kind of would have liked to have seen maybe something else, but you know me. Well, I'm picky. Maybe I'll get you something else for it if you dare part with a foil. I don't know if I could. <laughs> oh, also, we, we didn't admire the lovely Lanoir Elves oh, yes. token, which is a lot of fun. Is there a favorite trick? No. No, there isn't, and it wasn't a wavy pack. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, so minor, minor mishap off to the side. Uh, Spellburst. Conflagrigate. Or however you say that. Not like that. Uh, fungal Reaches. Joyra. Uh, so many uh, legendaries in here that I'm just kind of eh about, but... <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. If you didn't already own them, they'd be pretty exciting, I'd imagine. Uh, Lava Spike. Lava Spike. Fun card. A Foil Lost Auromancers. That's a nice foil. That looks cool. Oh, and another Lanawar Elves. Okay. I'm starting to get sniffy and my foot's gone to sleep. That's how you know we're halfway through the box. <laughs> it's uh, my own personal timer, that. My body just gives out when recording these. It's just like, no, that's enough. That's enough, thank you. Sudden death. Lanawa Mentor, there's the man who makes the man. Faceless Devourer, there's the thing that eats the face. <laughs> uh, Living End, all right. Well, it's another mythic. <laughs> yeah, kind of not one that was on my radar, but, no. um, you know, that's fine. Comes with an ancient stirring, so that's not too bad. It's a pretty well played card. So we're on three mythics now. Would maybe like to see two more with one of them being a heavy hitter. Damnation, please. <laughs> I'd be really happy about that, but uh, uh the the Vesuva's nice. Fury Slither. Bonded Fetch. Calciform pools. And periphery nodes. I don't own this card, so I'm kind of happy to open it. Very strange card. But for me, it's just a one mana enchantment. Um, I kind of might might just shove that in again for the laugh, because <laughs> you're always looking for cheap enchantments to sack in that deck. So um, that that might do might do the ticket for me. Vanquisher's banner in the old frame. That's always good. I still think this, this card is doing well, even with all the tribal support they keep bringing out. This is one I would keep going back to if it wasn't so damn expensive. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a good one. And a Judge Unworthy. Don't you judge my banner unworthy. <laughs> that's a really nice foil though. And a Spooder. All right, the foot has fully gone to sleep. We'll just do a little shuffle off camera. Uh, and then we'll probably knock the camera over because we're now in a really weird position. Uh, uh, there we go. Amazing. Nope, we're going to have to come back. This has all gone wrong. I'm fixing the park. Ha ha. That's how we get the views. <laughs> Nobody views the channel. It's fine. I can do what I like. Uh, okay. Uh, Minions Murmur. Gaia's Anthem. Timebender, who belongs to no one. I was, I was enjoying that. That was funny. But, uh... Stuffy Doll! I don't know a Stuffy Doll, so probably probably go to own one of these. Um, definitely now that the Torolf decks are a thing. Mm. You could do some fairly mean things with that and Brash Taunter. Could be fun. Good. Uh, and a Remand. Mr. Jair's Hands. <laughs> Do like this nah, card? Nah, uh, nah, uh, uh, not that one. And a soldier. I thought we're doing all right on the um blue time shifted cards for the Boral deck. You know, we've got a remand. We got a ponder. ponder. Uh, Mystic confluence. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. I feel like I could make a f ooh another hey. star. I feel like I could make a feature out of that, and I'd be quite happy with it. 
Uh, Calcida. Shivan Sand Mage. Dormant Slither. And Vesuvian Shapeshifter. I can't remember if this is in my Shapeshifter deck or not. It is. There we go. From off camera it is. Good to know. Is this a better art or the same art? It's the same art. Oh, well. You, you <laughs> literally, your option is the set symbol. Do you like the set symbol more? There goes my like for this card. Just <laughs> immediately discard it. Oh, and a repeal. Okay. Another blue. Another blue one. You're getting lots of blue. All the blue. All the blue, none of the black. <laughs> Where's the York Moth? Hey, York Moth, York Moth. Where's the Thoughtseize? Oh yeah, Thoughtseize. Cloud Cedar. Muck Drub. Might of Old Crosa. And... Ugh, I hate this thing. <laughs> Even if I call this a silver, it doesn't get any better. I still hate it. No. No. Ooh, it's the Panharmonicon! So excited about this one. Yes. Yeah, you needed another one. But I something. Something. I have so many things that need this. I can't even tell you. Why isn't it on the playmat? That one, yeah, that one does get it still. For goodness sake. Playmat didn't need the panel. Alright, last pack, then I get to take a break and uh, feel my left foot again. Briefly. It's gone to sleep. Don't wake it. <laughs> it's grumpy. A uh, sand blast. That does indeed say hench fiend of a cur. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hello birds in the roof. I don't think they'll make it on the video, but there's some scritching off uh, camera right now. It's quite distracting. Uh, fire wake slither. Oh, goody. Just what you need a double of, double if. Oh my god, yeah, double if. Just in case your if is suspended and you need another if. <sighs> Great. A John is pride made? Ah, oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, he's cheap as heck, but it's not too bad. A foil duskwood baloth and a Lanor elves. Yeah. Right. Short break. One moment. Yeah. Right. Last part. Last twelve packs. I really do hope for a, a couple more mythics out of these bad boys because three is looking a bit shaky, and I'm not even sure. I can be like we've got pseudo mythics in this slot either i don't i don't think we have i think we're just straight up at three mythics i can't even inflate it any further than that it's a bad time it is oh they're all in this half we'll have three more mythics i hope so i hope so otherwise time spiral doing a heckin bamboozle a spore so a phallid premature burial Cryptid Annelid. And it's a Talaria West. Yay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being mean. Transmute is fine. It's a very good card. I don't own enough cards that say Transmute, so... It'll also be good in your Essica deck, because you can search for the World Tree with it. There we go, then. From off camera, this is good. <laughs> it's the Shriek more. Yes, you like He's a shrieky more. boy. I love him in Carador, where I just get to boop him out every turn. And he's great. He's a good boy. And a foil, uh, Muraganda Petroglyphs. It's, again, not the, the foil you'd want to see out of a box, but hey, it's the foil I've been given, so thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. Look at these foil rares. Majestic. At least you got two. I think you get two as a standard these days, to being honest. Come on, Mythics, please. It is a very pretty foil rare, though, that one. It's a green enchantment. What's not to love? It is indeed an enchantment. I had a minor fit then. I was like, oh, God, they're going to come for me. <laughs> it's not an enchantment. Oh, God. Uh, Brian Elemental. Dusk Rider Peregrine. Salt Cross Step -a -pay. and Reiterate. Alright. Reiterate's not too bad. It's fun. Do love a uh, copy. Copy with buybacks, you know, interesting. Could maybe do some shenanigans in that. There's a lot of decks that make a lot of red mana at the moment, so mm. 
not beard. It's Gary! I'd rather have seen your moth or thoughtsies, but hey, hey Gary. I do like you in this frame. Find a home for you, no problem. The majestic Griffin token. Honestly, the most impressive thing I've pulled so far is that Griffin token. Oh, wow. None of this matters. Okay. Just bin it with the, the wrappers. <laughs> I will. Be gone. That pile's absolutely going to fall over, but I refuse to do anything about it. Uh, fire more, Carvu. Keen sense. Clockwork Hydra. Lotus Bloom. It would be more impressive if you didn't get one as a promo, I suppose. But <laughs> um, yeah, fine. It's a fine card. Ooh, Ooh. it's a salad chalice. Okie doke. That's all right. That that's that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, put that one in a. In I a believe that's room. the sound of MTG Raven buying half the box rather than a third of the box. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Didn't get the thought sees. Did get the chalice. Pop him right there with the barrel. Happy days. Happy oh. days. Suddenly the. Hi, Fable Fit! Uh, suddenly the box don't seem so bad. No. Don't seem so bad. Suddenly someone's really happy and interested in the box that I purchased. There's a mini of it. Me. Outrider. Dread Return. No! The Doskwood Balath off screen has made a break for it. Uh, Urza's Factory? Ooh. It's a term of oh, right. <laughs> the the box just came out swinging, eh? It's like, hello, I am box. What's behind the Tarmogoyf? The Sylvan's crying. All right, that's not too bad either. All right, yeah. I mean, with Chalice of the Void, is it a mythic? Has it been printed at mythic? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. It feels like a mythic, you know but it what? might not be. Yeah, but I it's... think it's one of those rares that's the value it's an of a mythic. Honorary mythic right now. It might as so well. We can sit at uh, five mythics right now and be quite happy with that. But it's four officially. But Tarmogoyf is not a damnation, but he's cool. Opened a Tarmogoyf before uh, from uh, one of the Masters sets. But... Ultimate. Uh, this is my first time opening it where it might potentially be mine. That could be my Tarmogoyf there. Uh, Pongify. Prodigal Pyromancer. Uh, Dreadship Reef. Tombstalker. It's a delving demon. It's bad. Yeah, uh, yes, I, I figured. <laughs> I, I don't, don't hear anything no. about this guy. No. Cranial plating. That one is lovely with the old frame. I hate it. As an old affinity player, no, I love it. I hate it. And a foil Maya boa. He's a foil noodle. <laughs> Look at that foil noodle. He's a good foil noodle. I have to find a home for him. Um, uh, I'm sure I can find him a home. He says regenerate, which is kind of handy. Isn't he in your snake deck? Because I it's can't unblockable. remember if he is or if he's not. Mm -hmm. We took a lot of them out. I think we kept that one in because Swamp Walk. Swamp Walk. Seems good. Uh, Knight of the Holy Nimbus. Trump the Domains. Lost Oromancers. Benelish Commander. I've seen him in every box ever. Everyone that's been opened. You know who we haven't seen yet, though? Who? Talrand. Oh, well, that's true. Maybe he'll be behind this. No. No, it's a crystal shard. It's not a Talrand. I'm wondering if we can dodge a Talrand. That would be impressive. Uh, if we could dodge a Talrand, because he's everywhere in every product these days. 